Greetings. Welcome to Alexander Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Hello, Taurus. This is going to be your May 22, mid-May 22 reading. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe as this will help my channel grow. This is a new channel. I'm new to the YouTube tarot platform. However, I have over a decade of tarot reading experience. I just love the idea of reaching out to as much people and connecting to as much people as possible. Um, so I decided to join this platform to share my gift and to pull some messages for my followers. I'm just shuffling the deck. I've already shuffled. I'm just, I always, always pre-shuffle, but I just wanted to give it another shuffle for you guys. We're going to do an energy check-in to see what's going on with your person. As far as relationships, whether you're single, in a situationship, a relationship, we're going to find out what cards and messages have for you and what's going on in your connection to the person that you are connecting with. Please take what resonates as it does, it may not resonate with everyone. If this is your reading, please like, share, and comment. If this is not your reading, please be sure to return to the next one. Okay? So, one, I'm, I'm, I'm spirit to tell me to give it one more shuffle. I need to see. Please show me the messages that I need to share with my fellow. Well, I'm not a Taurus. I need to share with my Taurians. <laughs> Please show me the cards that I need to see for my earth sign Taurus. Thank you, spirits. Please show me the cards that I need to see. messages for you Taurus followers what I'm getting definitely now is that in a, in a recent past you might have reconnected with someone it could have been new it could have been someone from your past or a new connection and this ace of cups I see that in a recent past that this is what happened um, you've also been I'm getting that this is possibly somebody from the past because I also have this three of swords reverse there was some sort of reconciliation energy that I'm getting from this card um, it's just like there was some heartache in this connection um, a little further into the past but then you guys decided they want a new beginning in the most recent past so I got an ace of cups and I have a three of swords reverse okay um, in your current situation by the way, I'm pulling two more cards. That's going to be your challenges, okay? Please, um, spirits, please reveal Taurus challenge cards, okay? Um, in the current position, I have the two of swords and the tile reverse. <laughs> this is crazy because these cards, these two cards are giving the same message. Right now, the energy that I'm getting is that you're at a stalemate. Like there's indecisiveness coming with this two of swords, realizing that you have to make a decision. Um, I'm feeling Taurus like there are some issues in the past that are still pouring into the current status of the, the person that you were connected with. And it seems like this is a kind of um, energy telling me that you guys had history. This has been something that's been going on for a while, but there's a lot of love here. So you tend to keep coming back to this connection, revisiting the connection. So there was some sort of breakdown in this relationship that you're trying to... You need to recover from, but you're resisting the, the need to change after this breakdown 
um, but it's like the tower is telling me that they're delaying the inevitable that either you're gonna have to make a decision about this connection or the universe is gonna make this connection this they're gonna make the decision for you okay this is this can be like a forced change so it's like you're, you're avoiding the inevitable Taurus okay um, in some people some of my followers if this resonates it's a small percentage I'm also getting with this two of swords that you're trying to choose between two different directions even two people even it is a painful decision because there's a lot of love with this connection you're from your person regardless of the challenges and you know it's just I feel I feel that there was a lot of love in this commercial in this connection and it's also like there's been a lot of pain you know a lot of times you can't have one without the other you know relationships are very challenges and there's gonna be ups and downs and it's, it's 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 a lot to have to decide between making an emotional decision and a logical one because you know we know that love is not logical so that seems to be where you are right now Tori and trying to figure out you know you're just sitting there trying to you're trying to allow the decision to be made on its on its own you're not really trying to step up and say this is what I'm gonna do this is not what I'm gonna do it's just kind of you know just going with the flow and saying you know what Maybe I'm gonna ride this out until the wheels fall off. It's just like you know what's happening, but you're like trying to be blind to it, like just trying to get the blind eye to what's happening in this connection. This may this connection may even be with a fellow earth sign. I feel on the earth sign energy all through these cards. But um, it can also be like a Virgo, I'm getting Virgo energy. Cancer energy. So let's see what's going on with the future cards. The future cards, in the future place, I have the Nine of Swords reverse and the Seven of Cups. It seems like, right, you know, moving forward, you're moving into the same kind of energy of stalemate energy, trying to choose from all the different options that that are presented towards you, um, but not really moving forward, more like procrastination energy. But you're coping. I see with this Nine of Swords reverse. This this energy, Taurus, is like just coping. You know, trying to let go of the anxiety that was brought on from this relationship. I also sense also for some of you, if it resonates, that there's a lot of stress that could possibly be tied to financial responsibilities and just life, you know that can also impact this have or had impacted this connection with your person but you do see a light at the end of the tunnel so you're trying you're trying to push forward but the challenge is you have all these different choices you have a lot of options to figure out which direction to go into but you're trying to push through that you're trying to receive help moving forward as indicated in this nine of swords Okay, what we're gonna do now, this, the universe is asking me to pull three more cards for you, Taurus, okay? Thank you for joining me. Again, please like my channel. It will help it grow. Comment, I'm always open to comments. Spirits, please show me the cards I need to see. If you're Taurus, please show me the cards I need to see. I'm always open for comments. Anything that's going to help my channel grow. Because I'm new to this, YouTube platform for for the tarot community. I will take any tips. I'm going to be working on my lighting, my setting. Right now, I'm just deciding to see which direction I'm going to. But I appreciate your support. I I appreciate all of you. Thank you, Taurus, for trusting me to to share my messages with you. Cross watchers are also welcome. Also, my cards are not male or female it's feminine or masculine energy we go by energies 
um, just take again what resonates. The three cards that I've just pulled, Spirit asked me to pull three more cards. I have the Page of Pentacles reversed, the Page of Wands, and the Impress reversed. Wow. <sighs> This page of pentacles reverse is, again, this stagnant energy that was happening in the, in the past. Um, I feel like within your connection with your person, there was like a small offer, offer to the person. Um, it wasn't something that will help withstand the relationship, but it was something to keep the, your person engaged in the connection. Also, in the past, I see with this Page of Pentacles, there was some immaturity that comes with this Page of Pentacles reverse. There was some bad news that came in, perhaps. But it was a result of not planning correctly, like not following through. Again, I feel like this is connected to something financially. Um, but I also feel like there was a low energy coming from this card from you, Taurus. And... Um, you just were in a stagnant energy here. And the Page of Wands is telling me that as of now, even though there's indecisiveness and stalemate energy and trying to avoid resisting a change that's going to come, it's inevitable that it will come. And um, But I'm also getting this Page of Wands. So if it resonates for some of you that are, are following, the, the bright side of this Page of Wands is in the current position is perhaps you just received a call or a letter something with that had some good news something um and that little bit is triggering you to to uplift you just just some sort of upliftment which also connects me to this nine of swords reverse you know, accepting some, some some sort of help or something. So I believe there's something coming in that's going to be helpful for you in the near future with this Page of Wands. With this Empress Reverse, there's this, I feel this, this, this harmony within the union moving forward with your person and someone within this union is just like not realizing that they are the impress so there's a lack of self-love there there's insecurities in this card in this impress reverse this person feels neglected i'm getting a feminine energy for this impress so you're i'm getting that this person is probably your person being that you cannot pour from an empty cup Taurus so if you don't have it to give you know but unfortunately this person this impress who who, who cares about you dearly is being neg neglected I feel like this is head over heart energy right now just you're just trying to get your things in order but at the same time you're neglecting this impress okay Let's see what your challenges are. Your challenge cards is the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Wands Reverse. Those are your challenges, Taurus. I have to call it as I see it. Um, in this connection, there's someone who has like that impatient energy, um, which, which can come off a little reckless because you're not taking your time with your decisions. So when you do procrastinate, you're kind of just sitting there and letting things happen as, as opposed to making things happen. And it's just like, you know, you it's crazy because you can talk yourself into believing that you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing to help yourself, um, Taurus. But at the same time, if, if you're just talking about it and you're not putting your plan into action, then it's just going to be stagnant energy. And... Um, there's just this this unreliable wishy-washy energy. So the challenge for you is to not give up because this Knight of Wands is that energy of someone giving up, someone who's lacking ambition and trying to get that Ten of Cups. 
you know, you can have that abundance. You can have that happiness. Dreams do come true, Taurus. This can happen for you, but thoughts become things. If you don't believe that this can happen for you, then it, it won't. So you have to manifest what you want. You have to put in the work. So your challenge is, you know, I'm, I, I'm giving up. You know, I don't, I, I don't know what to do. And that Knight of Wands energy is there, but you have to manifest this Ten of Cups. You have to decide. Are you going to make excuses for yourself? Or are you going to go after your happiness? Because you can have it all. You can even have that impress. If you don't neglect this connection with the person that you're connected to. Right? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to look into this Oracle deck for Twin Flame Wheel. They're the existing cards, okay? Um, I got these cards from one of my favorite tarot readers on a YouTube platform, Serendipity Tarot. If you go to her page, she has a link where you can purchase decks on the Etsy shop, in her Etsy shop, okay? Now these cards are also pre-shuffled, but I like to reshuffle my cards. What we're gonna, we're just gonna see in these cards, what the cards are gonna show us in regards to the person that you are connected to, okay? What messages, Spirit, do you have for the person that Taurus is connected with? I don't focus too much on the signs, you know, that you're connecting to. I try to focus on, I want you to focus on what resonates with you. Because technically, it doesn't matter what signs, I'm, what energies I'm picking up. It's what matters is what is your story? Is this your story? That's what matters. So if this sounds like your story, then please listen and continue to listen because that means there are messages from the universe for you, okay? Spirits, please show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the messages. The Taurus and what's going on with their person. Show me the messages. What's going on in this connection with Taurus and their person? Show me the messages that Taurus needs to see as to what is going on within this connection with their person. <laughs> wow, I've been seeing these cards a lot lately and I believe part of it's because we're in retrograde. But there's some decept deceptive energy in your connection with your person. I'm gathering that um, the deception doesn't necessarily mean that there's a third party. We can pull some more cards to see, but it, you, it, it's, it could be, I'm getting self-deception. You can definitely betray yourself and deceive yourself when you're not being transparent with the person that, that you care about or love, okay? So I'm getting this sort of energy of self-deception. Not being transparent with your person. Taurus, I get the feeling that you're in your head. You know, this reading is very similar to the Aries reading. Um, you can check that out, Aries. That's on my channel. Um, following me. Insomnia, sleepless nights. Just in your head a lot. Which is, has already been revealed in the cards that I've already pulled that show that. Like, there's a lot of indecisive energy coming from you, Taurus. There's decisions that need to be made. There's so many different choices, which be, which can become so overwhelming on your body, on your mental health. And because of all those issues and all that stagnant energy, there are commitment issues. You have this impress that you're not willing to commit to because you're trying to figure out what direction to go into. And you know, this connection it's a connection that's in and out. There's been some happiness. There's been some sadness. Typically, that's not something that's unusual within a, a union. But at some point, when it's in and out consistently, it becomes toxic. Okay? 
And it doesn't really seem like you want that right now. What I'm gathering is you're not really wanting this connection. You just, again, as I said earlier, you're just kind of just riding it out till the wheels fall off. Okay, Spirit is asking me to pull three more cards to see what's going on in your connection. Let's give you the twin flame. Huh. Suffering in silence. And I was just talking about this. You're not being transparent, which is also why I pulled the card of deception, which I said indicated could be self-deception. Cards don't lie. Just keeping all of this in your head, in your head at night, sleepless nights, as indicated with the insomnia card. Head over heart. And I said that earlier in the connection. I tell you, the universe doesn't lie. So Tori, I get that right now you're just, you're all in your, your head. Your, your decisions are logical. You're not really interested in fostering this emotional connection, but you don't want to lose this impress either. And that's why this is a complex connection. This is a complex union. It's a complicated situation. And because it feels so complicated, you know there's so many decisions that need to be made, but you would rather just sit back and just say, you know what, I'm just going to let this turn into whatever. I'm not going to pour my energy into this emotional connection because I have other things on my head in my head I'm pulling three more spirits are telling me to pull three more cards for you Taurus <sighs> trust issues that can very well be from a connection connections in the past people who have betrayed you in the past Taurus perhaps you've you've been very trusting to people and they betrayed that trust and you carry that on that trauma into your current situations and it's like you know taurus you have to trust someone sometime you got to trust somebody because how else can you foster connections if you don't give people the benefit or the doubt because stagnant energy based on trust issues it just keeps you st stuck and you and nothing new is going to develop disoriented, overwhelmed in your head. It's like it's like I said earlier, it's self-betrayal, self-deception. As I said also, that impress in your life, the person you're connecting with, you have karmic ties with. And that's why you two keep finding each other in spite of everything that's going on with you Taurus and that's why you're so connected and you're like you know I can't make the decision to let this person go but I'm also not putting into this union just a moment I'm sorry I have a disruption please forgive me Forgive me, Taurus. I am so sorry. I didn't want to stop the camera. I don't want to interrupt my the energies that I'm pulling. What's going to happen now, because I did step away, I will gladly pull three more cards to show me what's going on with you, you and, with, with you and your person in this union, okay? The person that is on your mind. I'm pulling three more cards, okay? naked truth everything you need to know about this union is already in front of your face everything that you need to know to come to a decision as to how you want to move forward with your person has been revealed to you you just have to allow yourself to face it and, and make some decisions and figure out what's best for you 
do you really love this person enough to make it work? Or do you feel like, you know, we've exhausted this connection? Not everybody ends up with their soulmate. Not everybody ends up with their twin flame. You know, there's a runner chaser dynamic when it comes to the twin flame energy. And um, maybe that's the case here, Taurus. Emotionally void and closed off. <laughs> And I think I just answered the question. This card answers that. You cannot move forward in this connection because there are blockages keeping you from being transparent with this in this connection. You see what's there. You see what the problem is in this connection. It's in your face. You just have to own it, Taurus. You have to own it. You have to say to yourself, maybe I'm not in a position right now to get to this connection. I'm not emotionally available for this connection right now. And if it's meant to be, and you let this person go, they, this this situation could present itself at a later time. And if that, when that happens, then maybe that's your divine timing. And then th that and then possibly can work. But now, with runaway and avoidance, mm -mm. I feel another separation coming up for you, Taurus, you and your person. Because there are blockages, there are boundaries that you're not willing to let down. You do have free will. So if you want to change the future, you can change the present. But as of now, there are these blockages that are not allowing you to move forward with this connection at this time. What's going to happen now is I'm going to pull some messages from your person. Things that, you know, they are not willing to say. The person that's on your mind, they have not said to you, but are thinking. Okay? Let's see about this story. And thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> I was not expecting a delivery. Forgive me. Thank you so much for joining me, Taurus. Let's, again, I, I, I pre shuffle my deck, but I'm going to do it for you again. So you know that there's no trickery involved. <laughs> okay. What's going on? What are the messages from Taurus's person? The person on Taurus's mind. What are the messages from the person on Taurus's mind? You know what I'm getting, Taurus? I'm getting, because you know, the cards will tell you what they want you to know. And you know what? It makes sense because the person on your mind has impress energy. So, and this person I told you is transparent. So there, perhaps there are no messages from your person to you, but there are messages from you to your person. There are things that you're not saying. The timing just wasn't right for us. I want you. You want them. And that's why you're not making a decision to let this person go. You're not making a decision to let your person go because you do want them. But you also know the timing is off. So you, I knew exactly what I was doing. You're very aware of the fact that you're neglecting this connection, Taurus. Very, very aware of your behavior. Let's pull three more cards. And I, as I said universe wants me to see thoughts in your head that you have not told your person spirits please reveal the cards that i need to see please reveal the cards that i need to see i wish things could be different you really care about this person taurus very very attracted to this person too you care about them you're very attracted to them I left you before you could leave me, but there's insecurities because you know that you're not poured into this connection as you should be. So with that being said, there's insecurities. You're like, like I said earlier, you're, you're riding this out until the wheels come off. And you're thinking every day, like, is this going to be the day that, this, that your person's going to say, okay, I've had enough. 
really a scary place to be. I'm gonna pull three more cards from that you are not telling your person in this connection to reveal. You are not telling them. You wanna tell them how they feel. I want to tell you how I feel. You want to say something to your person, but you're not. Because you're, again, in a stagnant energy. Something took place. There may be something that hasn't come to the surface yet. There is something that, remember I said self-deception? There's something that you're keeping. There's a, you remember every detail of that day. There was a prominent point in your relationship where something happened and it's heavy and you cannot get it off your mind in regards to your person. It's time for me to heal now. You are quite aware that you are emotionally unavailable to us and that some healing needs to be done. And I wish, all I can wish is that you will communicate these feelings to your person. Just let them know so that they can have clarity. You know, get rid of the, the blockages. Talk to this person. You care about this person, the best thing you can do is talk to them. Tell them what's going on with you. So they are able to make a clear and concise decision as to what they want to do in regards to this connection. And that's real love, being transparent, Taurus, okay? All right. So I'm going to pull three advice cards and we're going to close out this reading. Spirit, what cards do you have for me? for Taurus for advice. I have the hangman, the four swords reverse, and the three of wands reverse. These cards are clearly telling me, Taurus, that you need to get out of this stagnant energy that you're in, this energy of contemplating and uncertainty. You have to let go of the past as indicated in this three of wands. There's no, there's, there's a lack of progress due to your self-doubt, which again is self-deception. You need to find your mental strength and recover. Get out of this isolation, recover from this mental breakdown that you're going through and heal. This, this is all about healing. This four of swords reverse. So my advice to you is to let go of stagnant energy, let go of the past, and allow yourself to heal. You need to heal. Once you heal, then you will be emotionally available for the kind of connection that you seek because you do want to be with someone. You do care about this impress. You absolutely do care about this person. I'm getting a feminine energy, this person that you care about. But again, the roles could be reversed. The energy, just because it's feminine energy doesn't mean that I'm, I'm speaking of, of man or woman. This is not what the cards are about. It's about energy. But you, you, you are very aware that you're not emotionally available and that some healing needs to take place. So I tell you and I urge you, Taurus, please focus on your healing. That is the advice that I have for you. Okay, that is all the messages that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. And please, again, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. God bless you. I wish you all love and light.